This is Portrait of a Woman as St. Catherine, attributed to Italian artist Pierre Francesco Foschi. It dates back to the 16th century and has spent the last year here in the conservation studio. This painting was kind of in dire need of conservation treatment and it's been wonderful to actually remove those layers for the first time and really reveal a painting that hopefully is closer to the artist's intent. This is where the conservation's code of ethics comes in. The very first tenet, anything they do must be able to be undone. So I am just one point along this painting's lifetime. And in the future, maybe in a hundred years, if what I do to this painting might need to be reversed, a future conservator can do that without harming the original. And that's exactly what conservator Juliana Lee is doing to Portrait of a Woman. Just look at a before photograph compared to what it looks like now, after removal of thick yellowed layers of varnish. Our goal is never to make the painting look brand new or to make it look like it just came off the artist's studio easel, um, but it's really to allow these damages and maybe these past interventions to really fall behind and to really let the viewer appreciate the work. Another key principle, documentation, written and photographic. Extensive information about the painting, artist, and everything that has happened to it along the way. I was able to read past treatment records on this painting before I started, and so I knew the materials that were applied, and I knew how long it had been since the painting had been treated. Lastly, artist's intent. Difficult when a painter or sculptor lived in the 16th century, but there's a process. We often do this alongside kind of conversations with our curatorial colleagues who are really experts in kind of the artists in this time period and they can also help us kind of make those decisions when necessary. And when possible, reach out to living artists like Firale Baez, whose untitled oil and acrylic is part of the museum's collection. We are fortunate that the CMA collects a lot of beautiful contemporary paintings. And when that happens, we're able to conduct artist interviews. And that allows us to talk directly with living artists about what, what their intentions are. How do they want their paintings to live on? Do they want them to be conserved?